Hey. What's up, man? Nothing. What are you doing? I'm just testing my new workbench. This stupid thing looks old to me. It's not stupid. It's a part of American history. Well, it looks old. I hope you didn't pay for it. No, this thing is vintage, dude. Oh, does mom know? You better not tell mom. Really? I'm telling. Wait, no, no, no. Don't tell mom. Do you want a treat? Mom, dad did it again. Wait, Thor, no. Oh, so gonna tell on me. Right, welcome to our Comar project. So there it is, it's all taken apart. This is the heart and soul of it. This is the main bench part. This is actually really heavy. This was all one piece, so they actually carved down into this bench. Front, I believe, is laminated. The bench dog holes are pretty rough. It's okay, we're gonna make them pretty, like me right now. I'm not taking a bath tonight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, should kill me if I don't. But how cool is this, huh? We're gonna give this thing the love and respect it deserves. That's so awesome. I'm, I'm giddy. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. You know what? Maybe we'll have some fun with it. Who knows?
I don't know why I can't finish this project, but it's been another month and I haven't touched it. It's like I'm cursed not to have a workbench. We're gonna finish it. Oh, we're so gonna finish it. Let's do it. <laughs> oh. It's finally time for the top and I am so excited about this one. How do I do this? I want to retain its character, but I also want it to be functional. Someone put in a lot of time and effort to build this thing and I don't want to destroy it. So I do want it to be functional. So I think I'm going to do some sanding and maybe a little bit of planing and we'll see where we get with this thing. So I'm going to make you pretty. I'm going to make you awesome. Want some chisel work. I got a couple cracks in here that I'm fairly worried about and I need to do some. I'm gonna apply a little star bond in there. It's basically colored CA glue that should blend in. I'm gonna use brown and we're gonna sand it and hopefully it'll work. It'll work. It has to work. So exciting and it works so well. Yes, sir, it works. Okay, time for vice numero dos. Yeah, I got you, I got you, babe.
Okay, it's finally time to assemble the workbench. Well, assemble the base, because the top is done. And see what this bench can do, so. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I am so excited. Let's do it. Okay guys, this is the moment I've been waiting for for 10 months. 10 months! And I can't believe it's here. It's time to wax this bad boy and see what she really looks like. I guess it's a she now. So there you go guys, this beautiful workbench is finally finished. After 10 months of working on it and other projects getting in the way, it's finally done and functional. This workbench was actually the very first thing that I ever put into the shop. And the shop wasn't even a shop yet, it was just a basement. And I had it down here with the intention of restoring it. And after such a long time, it's finally done. So I did some research on this workbench and it turns out that this was a cabinet maker's workbench from the late 1800s, early 1900s. That puts it at about 100 years old, over 100 years old. And now it functions like it used to. If you guys like this video and want to see more restoration projects like this, let me know in the comments section below. And if you know anything about this workbench, its history, its origin, I'd love to know that as well. If you're new to the channel, I'd love it if you considered subscribing and hitting the bell notification so you don't miss upcoming projects just like this one and many, many others. Plus, it helps this channel grow and lets me build cool stuff like this for you guys. Thank you so much for joining me on my experience. This was an awesome build. Thor and I had so much fun doing this. I'll see you guys next time. Come on, buddy.